How's it going guys? My name is McKenzie and this is episode 15 of my daily design series. So with two weeks of the series done, um, I've decided to switch stuff up and instead of designing random UI elements like I've been doing up until now, I'm gonna start designing or redesigning actual websites uh, so you can get a behind the scenes and get a bit of context into the thought process that goes into creating actual sites. So in episode 12, I redesigned Facebook's feed page and in today's episode, I'm gonna take that design and uh, continue it and explore as to what the uh, profile page could look like. And possibly tomorrow I'm gonna do mobile versions of these designs as well. So let's jump in. So on the Facebook profile page, there are three important elements that I wanted to make sure that I covered. Uh, first was that I want to show who the user is. In this example, obviously I'm using myself. Uh, number two, the activity of that user. And then three, who that user is friends with. So visually, uh, the activity, I wanted to make that the most important element. Uh, that's why it gets the most space and the most tension on this design. And then in the sidebar at the top, it's who the user is, big profile image, and then uh, a little about section. And then below that, you can see who is friends with this user. So my concept here was to allow the user to click on the various tabs, for example, about, friends, photos, videos, etc., and have the content below the navigation be replaced, for example, the gallery of photos we have here, uh, replaced with photos or videos or friends or whatever uh, via Ajax so the page doesn't reload and we stay on the same page and you still get the context of that user without having to navigate away. So I just want to give a quick shout out to uinames.com. It's an awesome resource that I use quite a bit in my designs. Uh, basically, it just randomly generates either a male or a female name uh, that you can use within your designs.
So before starting this design, I gave a lot of thought as to how to go about the comments. I wanted this to feel like a separate element of the design, but at the same time, keep it unified to the status update. So how I went about achieving this was through the use of size, shadows, and color to make it a separate element from the statuses themselves. But I added this behind the status update to keep it as one unified whole. That wraps up episode 15. I really hope you enjoyed it and I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this design. So the whole point of this challenge is daily practice. So I want you to get involved and I wanna see what your take on this design is. So go ahead and create a uh, Facebook uh, profile page redesign and add the link to it in the comments below so we can all take a look. All right, and be sure to come back here tomorrow for another design. See you guys.